Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Coffee with Kira. Today, we are joined by, honestly, the coolest chick on planet Earth. She is a pop star. She is, I would say, a gay icon. I'm just going to say it. Um, she directs <laughs> these beautiful, like, fairy tale music videos of queer women, women loving women. I'm in her newest music video, Bloodstream. They say the serotonin clears. That's the name Woo! of the song, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, is that the name? Um, we didn't know the song we were filming. Yeah. <laughs> but I am in her newest music video, which is just so insane. Yeah, longest intro ever, but I'm just so excited to have her on. And this is Zolita. Hello. I call her Zoe though. But your your artist name is Zolita. Zolita. Yeah. Which yeah. also I'm like, what what when did that where did that, where come, did that from? come from yeah oh, it's so lame it was literally i it's had so like an, it, it is i had an obsession with the with lolita the book when oh. i was in college and and like the baby girl aesthetic and i kind of gross now but did you see the movie to that i didn't actually <gasps> okay no. we have to watch I which mean, one it's the very, first or the second one i don't know if it's the first i think it's really old so it's probably, probably the, first, the first one but it's yeah. so cringy but still oh, i was God. like okay yeah, yeah. let's watch it we'll have to watch it yeah but I, I just combined my name with lolita and then we love it i never yeah. like at, thought to ask you that but then yeah. today my brother was like where did you get that from it's so yeah, cool yeah. but i always like to start out these podcasts with like a wellness check like where i know you came from therapy today so that's I did. good <laughs> i just came from therapy we love therapy get your butt in therapy even if you feel like you don't need it you probably need it yeah but um how are you feeling? I feel amazing. I feel really good. Yes? <laughs> yeah. I feel mostly really good. I feel really tired. I feel like I haven't been yeah. sleeping very much. Well, you've been like editing. Like I had a big deadline last night Yeah. Um, to send it off to the, the colorists and stuff. But yeah. yeah, I feel like I haven't been sleeping as much lately. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to my therapist about well, that. Well, you are like, also going doing. through a breakup. So, like, going through a breakup. <laughs> so that's probably also why. I feel like there's a lot of things going on in your life right now. Totally. I was going to say good and bad, but I think all of it is always like you just have to think of the positive in these moments of like transition transitioning yeah. and stuff yeah you know my yeah. therapist is also saying she's like sometimes staying up like like not sleeping as much is like how you process grief and just like it's yeah. weird your, your nervous system is adjusting to yeah being alone. is it harlem yeah can you hear it so rude oh. he's away right this now. is polly by the way this is polly i'm a dog aunt she's, she's so, so cute perfect. i thought she was a puppy but you said she's literally four years yeah, she's old four but she's insane. just a baby she's a run she's a little um, nugget but yeah no but yeah, I, yeah you're okay adjusting adjusting and yeah but i feel i feel okay i've been such a positive I feel like it's been a really positive time yeah and i've felt very light and very excited for mm -hmm. the video I'm so excited yeah. and how all of that even came about. Well, first I want to go into like the background of you. So when was it that you st first started like creating music? So I started making music. I well, I grew up playing bluegrass okay. guitar, like all black right. guitar. Yeah. Only really makes it worse. And um, Can you say your dad plays? Yes. Yeah. yeah. My dad plays banjo. Okay. Yeah. So I played guitar. And then when I was a teenager, I was like, this is lame. I want to play Hannah Montana. And so we love, Hannah Montana. <laughs> love Hannah Montana. And so, yeah, I would play that kind of music. Yeah. And then throughout like college and stuff, music was always just a way for me to like get out my emotions. And yeah. it was never something that I thought was going to be like the main thing. Yeah. And then I went to NYU for film and I love music videos so much. And yours are and freaking insane. Thing. She has got talent. She has got talent. She has got talent. Over. You. Like insane. And I always knew I wanted to make like like art films, yeah, so or yeah. like fashion films, mm -hmm. and so music videos was kind of like yeah. the the way. And yeah, and so then like there were no artists that I knew that to make music videos for at yeah. NYU. I mean, I still even feel like with your mu music videos, I feel like no one really makes music videos like that. Like Thank even you. a lot of like queer artists, they'll make music videos where it's like two girls and like it's hot and it's sexy. Which yours are hot and sexy too. I mean, like yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end of every single one, there's like a makeout. Yeah. You're like, is yeah. it gonna happen? Is it not? And <laughs> it always has happens. Three. <laughs> ours have. A lot of makeup. <laughs> I wanna be in your bloodstream. Run through your veins. I wanna know how it Which I wanna get into that and how all of that works too. Just like <laughs> now that we were even strangers at, at that point, but still yeah, yeah, somewhat yeah. getting to know each other and just yep. thrown into the deep end. But right there. I love how you incorporate like a story to it. Yeah. Like yeah. you literally, it's a fairy tale and it's so it much is. of like what I never saw growing up. But like also creating women on women music. Did you, was that like part of even your coming out process of like how you were able to express yourself? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel like so the first video that I put out was like an NYU project. 
project and it was mm-hmm. called Explosion. And um, it was the song was about I was in love with my best friend and it was like unrequited and she didn't love me back. Like classic queer experience. <laughs> and I made a video about it and it went viral. And at the time, I feel like hitting a million views in like 2014 was like a big, really yeah, big deal. Yeah. And, and for baby artists, that's yeah, still like, like organically. Insane. Yeah. And yeah, when that happened and when I started seeing people in the comments being like, oh my God, like this is the experience that I had and like it's so healing for me to see yeah. as a queer person. And that was like the moment where I was like, oh, I want this to be my, this is my purpose. Yeah. I want to make, um, I want to make art for queer women and yeah. um, I want to provide representation. And it's so funny because I feel like I got into music videos because I didn't like narrative and I didn't, I was like, oh, I want to be able to like just make pretty images to music and not yeah. have a story and not yeah. like his feature filmmaking sounded so exhausting to me and like, like oh, such a long, so good at it. <laughs> such a long process. Yeah. But then of course, somehow I like ended up doing really narrative, full on story, you yeah, know, they fully movies tell stories. Films. Like Ashley is one of my favorite ones, oh, I would say. What's like one of, this is a fan question. Yeah. Like let's not include ours because I'll get sad if you don't say ours. <laughs> But what's been like your favorite music video in the past that you've yeah, done so far? Yeah. Um, God, I probably have to say somebody I f***ed once because I feel like I'm very influenced also by people's reactions and like same. Just the, yeah, just like the way that the internet exploded yeah. with that and the way that it like just took over everybody's TikToks yeah. and like all the Halloween costumes. Yeah. Was and, that like, kind of your moment where you were like, okay, this is working? Yes. And yes. Like that a, was a pep in your step. Because yes. as an artist, I feel like For it's sure. so hard to continue sometimes, even though you're putting out amazing art and you're mm-hmm. creative, when people don't respond or it doesn't blow up and then you have labels and all these different people that they won't even take you seriously unless yeah. you go viral yeah no, so that was fully. like your viral moment that was and it's so funny because right before sorry Polly, right before uh i shot somebody at once i was kind of at the end of i was like i've been doing this for so long yeah and you know the videos do well but like it's not sustainable and like yeah. i gotta start being a grown-up and like maybe just do something that's gonna like yeah. provide more security and money Never and grow um up. Don't literally do it. and then so some Somebody once felt like my last hurrah. I was like, well, I want to make this video so bad. It's been in my mind. And, yeah. And um, and after I made that, it's I feel like it's always it always happens that way, right? It's like your last, you're like, ah, your this last is push. the last effort yeah. and the last and push. And the universe and is then like, it happened. Yeah. yeah. And that whole thing was like just so serendipitous yeah. with how it happened. And and I mean, like Tachi, you probably heard this story, but like Tachi wasn't even supposed to be in the video. Yeah, you told me a little bit was back. in it like two or three days before. So And people were like, this was a girl in your video. They You weren't dating. And did you had a girlfriend at the time too, or you had just... I, started <laughs> yeah i just started dating my girlfriend like but like, like everyone a, online was shipping yeah. you and the girl from the music video yeah yeah <laughs> which is i feel like it's such a interesting so <laughs> oh yeah if i was someone's girlfriend and yeah I, everyone online was shipping them i'd be like post That's, me now <laughs> yeah. let them know but then it was also probably like helping yeah you know like, yeah. like if people are shipping you everyone wants in their favorite like rom-com or movie yeah, it's like Edward a TV and Bella. show. Like exactly. they want the you people. wanted Kristen and and uh, what's his name again? Robert Pattinson. Like you wanted them to oh, be no, together. I just, I just care life. about Kristen. <laughs> yeah, I know. Same, same, same. Like I didn't want. I wanted her and Dakota Fanning to be together. Oh from yeah. Oh my god. The gosh. Runaways. That would have been. But I love that movie. Oh, so good. It's so hot. It's such a good movie. So hot. Yeah. But yeah, no, definitely, definitely tricky. Yeah. Definitely tricky. But. Um, yeah so future wise but that's how like you would just continue future wise and you just kind of have to tell the person whoever you date this is what yeah, I do like, this is part of this is part of my life and yeah. it's part of my career and it has been also almost like for a decade you know I've, yeah it's not like I just started doing that yeah um and I tell love stories through my videos and that includes making out with people Literally, <laughs> it's honestly how I even came across you I was in South by Southwest mm-hmm. and I was there working on a project and the whole week I was like bored in my hotel room and unless I was like shooting. Yeah. And I just remember, I think it was somebody I f- once popped up on like my For You or something. It was yes. like a TikTok clip. So then I was like, wait, this is hot. Let me go look this up on YouTube. And then I found like so many videos that you had created. And I just literally like was binge watching binge your videos dump. for like a whole week. And then random enough, you were at South by yes, Southwest. Yes. And I remember or somebody I f- because it was in the really? festival. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it was in like the music video category. Oh my yeah. gosh. But I remember you had pink hair at the time. Yeah. And at first I look over and I was like, pink hair. And then I saw your face and I was like, wait. And I think I called you something like Zolifa. No, you, said, called, you said Zola. Zola, like the stripper. I, I, I tried. I loved I it. I tried. Because no. I had just been watching for like just a week. But at the same time, I was so yeah. obsessed with all the videos. Yeah. And I didn't say anything to you. But then, yeah, I made a TikTok. You should and insert then you, it. It's, it's so good. I'll insert it. I made a TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh. And the girl next to me, she, we were both hanging out and she was queer. And we were like, we're going to go back to the hotel and watch it tonight. Ah. Maybe for a little. You know, <laughs> yes, yes. But it really is like sexy music videos. But once again, with that love story aspect. 
back. But skip about a year, and then yeah. we you hit me up randomly. Yes, yes, yeah. How did that come yeah. about? So, that was so random. Well, we started following each other after you posted yeah. that TikTok. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. And then when I was trying to cast the part for this video, I mean, casting is so it's like the most fun thing ever, but it's also so hard. It's like Stressful. okay, I have to like I want to find someone to fulfill like so many boxes. Yeah, know? and you yeah. fulfilled all of them. <laughs> and um, <Stop. laughs> and but yeah, but when I you were having your moment with Love Island, yeah. Um, I feel like that was coming up on on my following. Yeah, whatever. yeah. And um, and I was like, wait a second. Oh my god. Wait, she would be so perfect. Oh my god. And. Yeah, I freaked I out. Know. I know. I yeah. immediately was like, yes. Because I was like, music video, I can do that. And then she proceeds <laughs> to pay. She proceeds to send me a 10-page. I can't talk. She proceeds to send me a 10-page script. <laughs> and I was like, I can't do that. Nervous? Should I be? I mean, you tell me. I feel like it's been a while. I know my song's going to blow your rip and dance out of the water. Oh, yeah? Finally, some competition. Lucky for you, I still dread Q&A after all these years. I don't get that. I feel like... All you have to do is lie. That's always been your specialty, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. Oh, my God. I was you so did. nervous. But, yeah, with the music video in general, yeah. you first hit me up and you're like, let's do a chemistry read. Yes. And I just yes. remember being like, what? what is that? And yeah. then I Googled it. And then I hired an acting coach because I was like, oh, I had to go in <laughs> there and read serious. lines. I, I took it very no, it serious. So good. Yeah, because so good. just to be a part of a project like that, yeah. like it literally is like my little baby gay dreams to like play a role like that yeah. with an artist that's like so talented, so cool. And like, you, you do so much for so many people of like bringing that visibility. Yeah. So to be a part of that, I was very grateful that oh. you asked me. Oh. And it was so much fun. Like literally. So much fun. What, yeah, what the, did we start out with? Like the, the whole chemistry. I was, okay, so yeah, the chemist, so the chemistry read situation, I feel like at that point I already knew I wanted to cast you, but it's like, right. I feel like a chemistry read sometimes you're like, okay, unless this goes horribly wrong and we yeah. like hate each other, or like yeah. there's no chemistry Or I at came all, in and it was or, just yeah, yeah. awkward. Like who knows? But obviously it went so amazing. It and was, then, I mean, I was shaking in my boots. Yeah. <laughs> I maybe you didn't crushed show it, it you but crushed I it. was very nervous. You were perfect. Yeah, and thank you. yeah, and then Vic was like, "You got the role." I know Vic <laughs> was the one that finally said it because I was just standing there after doing it, and then I was like, uh, "So what? Yeah. So what's going on? How did yeah. you come up with the, the storyline?" Yeah. Okay, so it was was trying to think of like, okay, what world do I want to set this next queer love story in? Yeah. Like, what would be the most like visually exciting? What is a world that I've wanted to explore? Mm -hmm. And I've always been fascinated by beauty pageants, like since I was since I was young. Yeah, and. Um, and then it was when I saw Miss Puerto Rico and Miss Argentina uh, get together mm -hmm. and they got, they ended up getting married. Uh, yeah, I didn't that even whole, know that when you yeah, told me that. I was like, oh. That whole story was just like inspired me. I was like, yeah. oh my God, I want to know what that was like. Like, what was the lead up to that? Yeah. Like, how was that for them? Was it difficult? Mm -hmm. How long did they keep it a secret? Like, all those yeah, things yeah. Like, inspired me instantly. And so that was like March, right around the time that I guess I you saw me at South by Southwest. That's when I came up with the idea. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's been like a long journey. It's been a creating long this music video. Very which is long. insane. Yeah. Go watch it. And no, so I didn't know what the song was going to be for it, but I knew that I wanted to set it in that world. And then, yeah, and then also like bring it closer to home and have it be set in the South. Yeah. So obviously there are so many things happening right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. In our government that suck mm -hmm. yeah so i started writing that script with my friend audrey and i knew i wanted to make more of a series like i i feel like people really gravitate towards the interludes in my music videos yeah, yeah. and i was like how can i push that even further oh, and yeah. have even more interludes and more acting yeah. so yeah so i decided to do like kind of like a, a main music video and then expand it into a series yeah because um, we have like a couple yeah. acting scenes yeah there's and like a lot of acting there's scenes. a lot of acting yeah. scenes. room service Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? You practically begged me to help you prep for Q&A. Did I? You seem desperate for my assistance, so... Starting to think you're threatened by me. <laughs> Not at all. Then what is it? And to prepare for that, we did like a couple... Yes. Rehearsals. <laughs> at your sister's house and I remember walking in and once again I just thought I was gonna like read lines with you that day yeah. and then all of a sudden you guys were like yeah so we're gonna do a couple <laughs> exercises just you know, what are they called um uh intimacy intimacy building building exercises yeah. Yeah. and when I tell you like I almost was like should we do one now should we show yeah them yeah, let's, yeah 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 let's show them let's show them and so we're so far apart though so we were like okay imagine us being knee to knee yeah we we, we were supposed we were to be knee to knee. knee at first it was hands yes and my yeah. hands were like so 
sweaty and <laughs> gross. Because I was like, what are you talking about? Sorry, okay. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, wait, I had to close my eyes. I had to close my eyes and then like describe the feeling of her hand. Yeah. And what was the first thing I said to you? Did you say wet? I was <laughs> like, wet. Yeah. And not in the way that we like, guys. Yeah, no. So. <laughs> And you were like, no, because I was so embarrassed. And like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, just so nervous and just trying. I hate looking like that, but it was so new and, and I had then, never done it. And, and then it was the face. And then a face. We had to like touch, touch each, each other's, other's faces. faces. Yeah. Like, explain you have lip gloss on. <laughs> but like touch each other's lips, like all this different yeah. shiz, which yeah. And like describe it and was like, yeah. very soft, <laughs> very nice cheekbone. <laughs> like, what do you say? <laughs> I feel Literally. an eyebrow. <laughs> like, but it was it wasn't even like sensual though. It, no, no, no. It no, was just, it was just but it, like, it, like getting comfortable with someone. Totally. And it was so it necessary. Broke down the yeah. Walls immediately. I felt. In, in a way, I'm like, that's a great like first date thing. Like oh maybe God, you would seem so crazy true. to say it. To you the start doing that. Out. <laughs> I have a date tomorrow. I'm gonna be like, let's Perfect. let's start with these exercises mm-hmm. because I'm nervous and but it worked. And yeah. I think then when we started running the scenes and they're they're dramatic scenes. Like at one point, like I'm outed pretty much or thinking. Yeah. And be out yeah. and I'm you know, all, like on the verge of tears and just all this different stuff but <laughs> to do those exercises and then do it with you it was just so helpful so 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 helpful yeah. and also to like run the scenes the amount of times that we did yeah. before because then once we were there it was like okay we already like know the scene and mm-hmm. now we can, can yeah. play with it what was your favorite day on set Ooh, my favorite day probably day two because of all like the cameos yes. here are your miss queen of hearts finalists miss montana loves to play guitar piano and anything else that involves nimble fingers miss florida runs the boys and girls chastity club of america miss nebraska can bench 280 pounds and is president of the clay aiken fan club so, you had so many cool people. Do you want to so like, fun? Yeah. Who did you have like in so it? my sister Luna Montana and then Avery Ovard, Becca Moore, who's so fun. Um, Sarah Shower, who's the funniest person I in the world. I love her TikTok. And then my friend Erica uh Pawlowski, who is literally needs to have a stand-up show. She is she's fucking hilarious. insane. She's yeah. so crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just such an incredible cast of yeah. characters. And day two was so fun because I got to direct yeah. a lot more. Um no, you're like all the, the talent. Boss. Yeah, but you're like the boss of your own show but i think that's the artist i love the most is like they write their have songs, a hand in everything cre- everything yeah, yeah 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 it was so cool to get to like yeah because they too was all the talent portion so it's like getting to watch people improv and like do I your still thing and upset with you <laughs> i'm still I did very upset. really mean to kira <laughs> it was so mean. mean so her sister luna is like this beautiful ballerina. ballerina and there's like the whole portion if you guys have seen it where we're all having like our, our like talent show like any normal pageant like i yeah. felt this whole time like i was actually in a pageant and a pa- oh fully yeah fully Fully. Yeah. But yeah, so she was having everyone go up and do their thing and you're on an actual stage in an actual auditorium. She has her sister go up there and do this beautiful, heartfelt dance to like a beautiful song that you wrote. Yeah. Everyone's emotional. Everyone's watching. Everyone's just like, this is art. <laughs> and then she proceeds to tell me that I'm going next. <laughs> and then she proceeds to tell ribbon me dance. that I'm ribbon dancing. Have I ever been danced ever? Absolutely not. You could have fooled me because it looked amazing. <laughs> you really crushed it. Like, let me know in the comments. So graceful. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll, I'll show Listen, it to you. It's but okay, let me know so in the comments, graceful. guys, if you approve of no, my ribbon dance. It. You really, really did. But it was just the fact and that, that I went hard. after your sister was just that it was, was cruel. It was of painful. Me. It was pa- a painful thought, and it was so. I'm scary. so sorry I did that. <laughs> I accept your apology, I guess. <laughs> but you did such a good job. You look like you had been in dance your whole life. Uh, I mean, when yeah. I was younger, but you know, yeah. yeah. But now, I mean. <laughs> the whole music video like I'm still just so grateful yeah. that I was a I'm part so of it I'm so grateful that you were uh, okay, I want to hear your uh, favorite day or experience favorite day yeah favorite, first favorite day and then favorite scene okay that's such a good question. I want to say day three because mm-hmm. at that point my nerves had kind of gone down Calmed. so yeah. I could like enjoy it. At that point, like on day two, we went out to dinner afterwards and mm-hmm. I just felt like more connected, I would say, like with you and yeah, it was like a smaller set. So like you loved it's very Libra of you. Mm-hmm. You loved like all the people. I was like, oh, this is so much more intimate and fun. Yes. And we had that really dramatic scene and I was like so scared about doing it, but it just felt like I could like trust you at that point and like fully mm-hmm. emote what I wanted to do. And then I mean, the kissing scenes are fun. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. So fun. <laughs> Like, 
like they're a good time and that's what i want to talk about too <laughs> don't tell them that what do you mean <laughs> just no, kidding like everyone i always say kissing is like rubbing elbows you know like it's it's fun to do okay um which kissing scene was the most fun to you i just think the bed scene was fun i want to be in your bloodstream <laughs> I sound like such a creep right now. No, no, no but no, no, it was no. just, it was fun. Yeah. But also the one on stage was so cool. Oh, was, yeah. But that it's, was still like nerve wracking. It feels heightened because there's like so many. There was like a hundred people. Yeah, that and day. like I just didn't know when to stop too sometimes because no one would tell us to stop. Yeah, <laughs> and then it was just continuing on, and then I was like, "What the f am I doing?" But no, we literally. It is. It's fun, but it's still very choreographed, and there's like people telling you what yes, to do and what. Yes, things, yes, yeah. totally. Like, have it's you like, always hey, move this way? Move this way. Have all of your happen. videos been like that, where it's it's more of like, or has it? Have you ever winged it in a music video? Have you ever what? Like winged it? Winged like a hookup? Yeah, like Ooh. it wasn't a kiss wasn't supposed to happen and it just like naturally no ha no no you said i'm a professional yeah <laughs> I'm a professional oh my yeah. god um yeah i'm trying to think i feel like i mean i feel like on single in september which is mm -hmm. the second one i did with tachi like that was so montage yeah driven there that, was like, one that was super like sexy sexual. the whole time that was i like, love you maybe you guys were like in a hot tub oh that's no, not single in september yeah oh, okay yeah so yeah. that one was like so there was one day where it was just me her and sav mm -hmm. kind of running around so like yeah yeah that was all we were just like yeah it's just kissing left problem. and right for whatever yeah. and yeah. that wasn't like planned yeah. but and um, it happens in all of your videos why is it so important yeah, for you yeah. to like have these intense kissing scenes because i want to make the content that i want to see like yeah i feel like there's just not a lot it's of the in-between space of like woman on woman mm -hmm. sex content that's yeah. like either it's in porn and it's like just not authentic yeah directed by men yeah and just like so much mm -hmm. or it's like petting you know what i mean like the glee <laughs> santana like just like petting and yeah. kissing and yeah. not like super hot um or like a lot of sex scenes that we see in movies like that are directed by men mm -hmm. i always felt like they were so almost like scientific diagram looking where mm -hmm. it's like s such wide uh such wide shots seeing the full bodies like scissoring and like it's you <laughs> see said, so this is much aggressive. <laughs> yeah where i'm like i want to go into like the way it's feeling yeah. so like all the close-up shots yeah. and like slow motion the slow motion and like it's literally a fairy tale yeah all of her videos and like tap into the like desire yeah and the way that it feels to like love a woman and yeah. all of those things who were but, like your inspirations with that though like did you see other videos ever that were like that growing up or was it always more um not in music video i feel like yeah. i hadn't seen music videos really but inspiration Inspirations. Hmm. I mean, like watching Glee was definitely, even though, yeah, it was just petting. But watching Glee, uh, the sex scene in Black Swan, yeah. even though that was directed by a man. Um, <laughs> no, and that's what <laughs> like, I loved what about your set too. Yeah. And you even said, you're like, yeah, sometimes people meet each other on my sets because you have like <laughs> so many cool queer it's women. All queer people. Yeah, a lot yeah. of them are your friends. It makes, it literally makes for such a like comfortable, supportive environment. And it I was, feel like, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I'm an independent artist. It's like still small budgets and, mm -hmm. And, but we're trying to make these like grand videos yeah. on a you know on these small budgets. So it's like it, it you have to have an environment where everybody's like cares about the art yeah. and is like doing it because they you know I think that's that's the magic of my videos is like it's a full set of queer people that yeah. like want to tell that story because it was what they wish they had. It's just growing such, up. Yeah, you know, it, it was such like a safe space feeling. Yeah, and like I've been on set since I was nine, and I would yeah, just say how was that? It's been really hard at times, yeah. you know. But it was one of the first times on your set that it just felt like oh I'm with people that are like me and everyone's so nice like just the respect on so set. nice even you know things are going on things are moving quick sometimes people can get kind of like antsy yeah or Pat, just yeah. like like hard harsh with people totally you know totally. and not once did i ever feel like anyone oh, was so good getting in a mood or if they did they just like took a second and then they were fine you i know? Feel like so many like friendships were formed on that one because there's so For many real? girls like yeah. it was so yeah everything was approved before it happened <laughs> <laughs> but no i think like once again if you guys haven't seen her any of her other videos 
It's just there are, are these hot kissing scenes, but it's still just such a beautiful love story. So it's worth binge watching her videos. Oh. I'm telling you. And I also was going to say that, too. Like, I love how you incorporate so many different types of women, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, like sometimes, especially sometimes like white queer people. It's like other white queer people. And like you don't yeah. see a lot of that mixture going on. And I just remember watching. I think that's why I also like that video, yeah, because yeah. I've also I know her and I've worked with yes. her before, which was so weird. Just but best. my parents are like my mom's white. My dad's black. So honestly, too, whenever I see like a mixed couple you know it's yeah, like it's i love to see it but yeah. but it, i think it's amazing that you do have that representation yeah you know yeah. and i think it's beautiful that like you make a lot of people seen in that way oh, thank you you know that's always been so 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 important to yeah me, like casting and and just like yeah and getting to represent like as many try to represent yeah. as many people as yeah. i can artist wise like who would be your dream collab my dream collab have you had a collab that you're like you went on tour with bb rexa <sighs> yeah i went on tour with bb rexa which is insane which cool. and a lot so of people with well, the biggest question was like are you going on tour again like i later. am <gasps> i am this year it'll be announced soon oh but my they'll God, be I didn't like even know that yeah so there'll be like a, a full headline tour this year in an album very exciting i'm excited for um that. but yeah, no, I'll be touring soon. But the, yeah, the BB tour was was so fun. It was really cool to, I wasn't, you know, you hear so many things about opening mm-hmm. and it can be kind of draining because like you're not obviously getting the same energy back from the yeah. crowd as you would if you were the yeah. headliner. Mm-hmm. Um, but I kind of loved the low stakesness of it. So yeah. it was like, okay, it's, it's only pressure. a 30 minute set. Like mm-hmm. I can only gain from this. Like, yeah. you know, if they don't like me, like there's another show tomorrow. Yeah, it was like every mega star though. They're like, yeah, like I th- remember it was like a Britney interview and they would just like boo her off of stage or like something like that. And okay, I didn't I think have that, thank God. <laughs> I think that's I would good, literally like, quit. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like everyone when they're an opener, like you don't know how the audience you is going to react. Yeah. And I was lucky that BB's fans are, there's a lot of, a lot of queer fans. Yeah. Um, like young, really accepting, welcoming yeah, yeah. fan fan base, and she was so also her, the whole environment that she fostered was so awesome. Like because it's always like top down, you know. Yeah. If you're like if the person on top is like a bitch, like yeah. the whole environment's gonna be bad. 100%. She literally was the kind of sweetest person. I love that. Her whole team was so ha- so it made her whole team like yeah, you know. I think number one, be a good person because you should be a good person. But I also think it does help you in your career if you're just a good person. Like people want to yes. work with nice people and yes. of course once you blow up and you have like the stardom you can i guess revert and be mean but why you but know why? but yeah it's also like i i never understood that because i'm like D- that is going to make its way around and yeah. you will get a reputation like yeah sometimes i do feel for you know i feel like every if you're at like a high level of celebrity like there are going to be stories about you that maybe aren't good because yes. you maybe had a bad day and maybe you yeah. were like in a bad mood at the coffee shop and then or someone's just saying something that's not true yeah that happens too you yes. know like yes totally totally like everybody wants something from you once you're at that yeah level i feel like or everybody has a story about they're like yeah i literally like passed brush shoulders with them and they gave me a look and so they're you know what i mean like, maybe like, they just got broken up with and they're <laughs> like yeah, you yeah. don't know you don't know but yeah, yeah in this but literally but why not yeah but if yeah never understood how like if you're at that level like why wouldn't you try to be mm-hmm. but i, I just know. think in general like in this industry it's just better to be a good person yeah but in, in general. life in not life, in this in industry life, in, in general life like just yeah, yeah yeah but who would be so did you do a song with biba biba and biba <laughs> <laughs> not recently biba. zola biba. biba zola and, zola biba. and biba did you do a check cl- back <laughs> zola and biba new club um no you who should. would i i know that'd be yeah, so fun would she's be an amazing dream. writer my what? dream i would love to make a video for gaga Ooh. that would be iconic like uh, not be in it with her? Just no, I think direct I just want to d- direct a video for her. And then uh, Dream Collab. I love Muna so much. Yeah. That would be really yeah. cool. Chapel Roan is amazing. Yeah. Peach PRC. All the queer. All the queer. All the queer yeah. gals. Keep keep it in, in the... Yeah. In the, yeah. <laughs> in the gay world. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, who's an artist though, that's not queer that you would want to work with? Ooh. Because she's like, no one. I'm like, is there Absolutely are there no one. Um, <laughs> are there any? I don't know. Uh, you might have to get back to me on that one. Okay. I'll, I'll Who do you do think would be a good collab for me? Get out of here, Riley. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to get back to you on that one. That is a hard <laughs> question. I feel like that's like someone asking like your favorite movie. I never have the answer. Yeah. So Wait, who was the first um, like queer artist you can remember, or like the first time you heard like a queer song that you were like, oh my god? I mean, it's a gay man, but like George Michael's, I love George. Oh, George, Michaels. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I knew before Chelsea Cutler even came out. Like mm-hmm. I feel like I knew that she was 
gay. gay. Yeah. Gay. But I've always loved her music. Okay, so this was a fan question, which I thought was kind of interesting. Okay, yeah. Where do you think Zoe and Tachi are right now in like the trilogy of I that? I love that. Like where, where are they? Oh my God, they're married. They're married. <laughs> they're married for sure. They're married. They're living there. Um, Gia, her character is definitely like professional photographer, mm. has a huge studio, shoots yeah. big campaigns. Yeah. And I am a pop star, and <laughs> um, we love it. And yeah, and we have a gorgeous, gorgeous little house and a life together. We love it. We I love think that that happy little fairy yeah. tale ending. Someone write that fanfic, please. <laughs> and you guys are still friends too. Do you yes, ever think of like yeah. using her in another video? I feel like we it was so special, like what we did. Yeah. So I think that it needs to stay there. You Tied know what I mean? In a little bow. Yeah, yeah. It would be fun to have her like cameo again that one day, so cool. or like do something else yeah. together. Like we would work. I feel like we have such a creative of a good creative energy together yeah, so yeah. maybe do something else together but yeah yeah so what does so bloodstream the song mean to you yeah okay so bloodstream well first of all didn't know what the song was gonna be for the music video yeah at first and, and that's like, crazy that you came up with the concept before the song yeah i thought that, that i'm like that's i know it's like working backwards which yeah. i do sometimes where it's like okay i know what the video is i've written the script and everything like what song is gonna like really highlight this the best yeah. so i was trying like i was writing things specifically for it and then that wasn't really i don't know it wasn't working mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I was just writing in general um, just for the album and bloodstream is it's about the feeling of like you know when you fall in love with somebody and you're like I literally want to crawl on your skin like you cannot get close enough and you literally you feel like you can't get get close enough Um, and I feel like that happens especially in woman loving woman relationships mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and very quickly very very quickly <laughs> very quickly and yeah so that was that was the concept of that song mm-hmm. and um and then yeah i felt like it just fit perfectly it's because the video is a love story obviously it's like okay this and also yeah. the song has a little bit of that like early 2000s grungy uh flavor to it that yeah, like what? goes really well with the rom-com energy. it was a movie and i still don't remember the name <laughs> And I told you that that's what it like reminded me of. It was like an older movie. Do you remember what I said to you? What did you say? I'm blanking now. But no, it gives me that like old school feeling. Even when mm-hmm. I played it for you, you're like, I see what she's doing there. Yeah. Like it gives you that like you're being like transported back totally. to a different time. And I feel like it fits with the obviously in, in our video, we like reference so many like Miss Congeniality and Drop yeah. Dead Gorgeous and yeah. all these like early 2000s like. Yeah, no, it's so sick. movies. So I feel like it fits. It's so sick. All right. I have some fun questions. What's your type? I like to ask everyone that. What's my type? What's your type? Okay, my type is, I feel like my type really changes based on who I fall in love with. Yeah. So I feel like my type right now is kind of like maybe similar to who I was last in love with. I don't know. I, mm. But I don't, I don't know. If, you, if I look at like the lineup of people that I've ever dated or been with, it's so all over the map. Yeah. Like so all over. I don't think there's a physical type. Okay. Yeah, that I makes think, sense. Though you're just like, if it's a vibe, and it's it makes yeah, sense. it's an energy. Yeah. I think someone who's like really confident, um, someone who hustles and like has something that they're really, really yeah. like passion, a passion for yeah. something. Yeah. Um, good taste and she said you have to have good style good taste good style <laughs> like a sense of I don't know it doesn't even have to be like one of my girlfriends her style was I would literally never wear I mean it was so confusing to me but it was like kind of grandma chic energy but she really really like went hard on it and you know what I have to give her that so if you have something yeah. that you're like yeah if you have your own sense of style yeah um that I'm into and just like hot people I guess we love uh, hot people hot people no go ahead and that could be so like all over the all map. over the place i feel like i also don't have like i have dated more femme people and i've dated more mask people yeah. and i feel like everybody i don't know brings a different version out of me mm-hmm. too which is kind of fun yeah no so. we love that i feel like i've had when you're with more femme girl and i've talked about this before more yeah more of a so, femme yeah, girl yeah. do you feel like like do people give you more respect when you're with a more masculine girl than like a femme girl like is it different because like mm. I know my experience with that, but does it pl- is it different for like, you? Like or? publicly or like yeah. like like say you're at a bar and stuff. Yeah. Do you feel huh. like you can get more respect when you're with a more masculine girl, or no? It's just probably people don't like yeah. bother us as much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas when I was with one of my girlfriends who was like so 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 femme. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I feel like more people would definitely like come hit on both of us yeah. or just like not. Yeah. 
yeah take it seriously but i feel like you're in mostly queer spaces so you're, you're that's true yeah, yeah 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 that was when i was living in new york so maybe there was more of that but yeah yeah now i feel like i don't know i feel so lucky i'm in such a bubble of just like queer people around me all it's the time so cute. and like it's so cute it's so nice i saw you like vision but, boarding the other day i was like that yeah. is so cute oh, the lesbian sorority is going strong <laughs> and then she keeps on bringing me to um what's it called stud stud country, stud country. which is like you guys have probably seen a couple tiktoks because i'll like get all excited and like make a tiktok before going but it's literally like queer line dancing it's so fun and i'm it's, addicted it's i'm so addicted to line dancing cute but just like that little <laughs> community there and you take it very seriously i do i really like do. when i watch you learn it you're very serious she and then i'm like one drink in <laughs> so and i'm like i can't even i have two left feet. yeah 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 <laughs> we want i want to do a line dancing video with you like no, let's do it like the follow-up like a video. music video yes. oh i mean at that point we'll be pros because like, i want to go right? again soon yeah there's country ones but there's also to pop songs like they have dances to like so many different kinds of songs so do you want to come and get out of your comfort zone riley you should oh you would do it i you would love that yeah it's so fun it's yeah. such a good vibe yeah um you should definitely come riley yeah okay i'm you'll love you it next week you will love it oh yeah and going back to your vision board what was your 2024 20, vision board my 2024 what vision you, board what are your inspirations okay. what are you putting out there it's so funny because i feel like a few of my friends that saw it were like this is all stuff that's already happening in your life well, <laughs> or you like i was already like reinforcing just, it yeah and so i feel like also with my goals for this year it's like they, they're the goals the goals that have always been the same goals yeah. which are the goals i've already you know i don't know um what i'm trying to think let me pull it up let pull me it pull up. it up um but i wanted to ask you oh. your like how it's different for you with being with femme girls um, or mass girls and like i feel like i'm always dating like. like stem girls mm -hmm. but like when i first started dating like my first girlfriend she, we were very femme and mm -hmm. then but she was like still in the closet so a lot of the times i felt like at that point we would go you're with model you're with models at the time, right? yeah, yeah we were both yeah. models she was like alexander wang a little mm -hmm. skinny mini but she had like long sandy hair like down her back so we would get a lot of disrespect yeah <laughs> and yeah. we also weren't in like once again very queer spaces like she was in the closet and i was i always say i was more antisocial. so a lot of the times i was with my sister's friends and they were straight mm -hmm. so like even like her guy friends and all that different stuff we would go out drinking and by the end of the night a couple drinks in yeah you know the guys are like Ugh. watching or like think and i'm very affectionate with like the people that i'm with all the time yeah so like i don't care if we have an audience i will make out with you yeah. you know yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah so but then i i noticed when she like because she cut her hair super short towards the end and i always say like she would dress like a lumberjack mm -hmm. and then we got a little bit less like you know mm -hmm. but whenever i'm going out with a more femme girl yeah i feel like guys are way more yeah yeah watching us whereas like when they are a little boyish it's a little bit more like oh and sometimes i think they even think that they're boys yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, from the back totally, or totally. whatever do you feel like you take on a different role uh yes. with like yeah femme girls versus mask yeah i always like to say like i'm pretty <laughs> fluid like it's all an energy transfer and i i like to be like more masculine sometimes i like to be more like feminine and soft sometimes yeah. so it just really depends on the person i really don't like to be one thing ever mm -hmm. you know like i just don't i don't want to i don't want to choose i want to just have that energy flow and be partners and like there's no like role of this that yes if that makes yeah. any sense yeah how about you definitely i've genuinely generally been more dominant i feel like in all my relationships Dom. yeah <laughs> dom femme vibes yeah Which i see that from you yeah like you're small but you're mighty thank you <laughs> small but i'm mighty um yeah but i don't think i've ever really played the other role i don't know i'm trying what to do think. you mean what role like a more like Feminine. submissive uh, or like less dominant yeah role in the relationship yeah. um i feel like maybe i will want that moving forward i don't oh, know really that's like a space that i feel like i'm in right now i'm like maybe that's i don't know oh, a little bit more your soft side yeah maybe i want to be more i don't know why not feel more like appreciated for my femininity okay let me find this vision board oh, yes. um show me the vision i need to make one you need to give me <clears throat> tips oh my god shannon was saying you... that yours was like amazing and i was like Thank okay you. i need to I'll i need give to get tips. some tips i'll give you tips and tricks you can see this oh you're on you're on it you're on it twice. What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So stuff on my vision board. Um, I'm trying to do my first feature this year. So that's a big, yeah, I have like Sofia Coppola on there. Okay. And different like production companies that I would like to work with. Fire. Yeah. So it's somebody I wants, but the feature version. Very cool. Very exciting. That is so cool. I have some like magazine covers. I have Italy. I would love to go to Italy next year. So we need, we want to feature. We want to travel. Feature, travel, horseback riding. Oh, should we go to? Really we got to go. Yeah, let's go to, let's go to, <laughs> let's go to maybe not that place. Let's go somewhere else. Maybe. <laughs> I was talking to one of the girls there. That was so random that too. Was the funniest story. I, I had just met you. So, you know, when yeah. you can like feel like you can share something because 
you're not friends with someone yeah. so they don't know your people <laughs> so you're like I can just openly have a therapy session and tell you all the details right now because you don't even know who she is and then you're like wait is it blah 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 does she work at this place I was just there I was, and I was like, like a week ago <laughs> yeah. and I was like are you friends and you're like no I was like well just don't say anything if you go back there. And I was, oh, I was going back there that day too. What's your so, biggest goal for 2024? I feel like I'm at a time in my life where I career wise, like I'm really happy. Of course, I want to grow more and honestly get into more like acting. Like I love the reality TV side, but I want more scripted stuff. I just mm-hmm. think that that's something that would be really cool and fun and like it's a whole new come. avenue. I'm trying. I'm trying to manifest it. I'm in acting classes. But no, I went through my breakup like almost two years ago Mm -hmm. and it was so painful it was so hard I honestly had to like rebuild myself I felt like just a puddle on the floor for so long yeah like the first month I was in like a fetal position like Mm -hmm. I did not deal with it well yeah but I've just done so much growth and then like career-wise I'm happy financially I'm happy I'm happy with my family but I feel like I'm just like I want someone so that's like something that I'm like love. manifesting. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just pulling. for love. Yeah. So I'm pulling my mom. Like she's always like, well, just get on all the dating apps and just like go. Like when she was looking for my dad and then found him, she was just going out with everyone and anyone. Like and she really would, putting herself out yeah, there. Yeah. And yeah. she would just like tell all her friends, like, if you know someone, like, let me know. And like, just mm-hmm. she's like, because if just like your job, like you need to put effort into it. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Going on a date tomorrow. Okay. So I love that. One, one step I at a time. I love that. <laughs> 24 it sounds love. so dumb but yeah it's yeah. like a piece of my life and i'm like okay it's been almost two years like yeah like you feel ready I have that to space. have like a commitment commitment with somebody yeah like yeah. i'm emotionally there I, I tried to like start dating when i first got out of it and just like would cry in the bathroom like no. i would literally get up from the date and go to the bathroom and cry and i would no. just like i would still do it but then i was like i'm not ready yeah you know and yeah was talking to this one girl for a while and i was just telling her like she was overseas though so it was like yeah. it was at a good it felt pace. like safe because yeah. you're like oh i can like i don't have to actually like exactly but yeah that makes so much sense but yeah long story short yeah. that's definitely okay goal i was gonna say you, i feel like you're gonna get so many scripted opportunities after this video comes out you think yes oh my god i don't know there's so much oh my god it's good also like it being more serious no you're so good you're so <gasps> good you. so 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 good Okay. So professional. Here's the <laughs> most, pro- most professional person I've ever worked with. Aww, Truly. Thank you. Yeah. I, once again, been in the industry since I was little, and my mom was always just like, be a good person, show up on t- early as on time. Literally you the know. most on time person I've ever met in, in LA. That is like a, such a flex. <laughs> you also live far, like you live in the valley. So, yeah. yeah. Flex. You really, yeah. But I've always lived far. Like I lived up in Harlem. So when people are like, oh, I feel bad that you're taking like, like driving this far, not even driving, I'm moving, but which <laughs> that is actually that's or being my, driven by your brother. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that's my biggest goal. That's my biggest goal because I don't think I can date someone and like it always starts out fine. They're like, yeah, you're passenger princess. That's cute. Are you going to get your license this year? That's yeah. I can't date someone until that's that's the first yeah. goal. I could probably honestly take it next when week. When are you going to get just, it? I just need to sit down and study. Study. You I've can been do it. I've been doing it here and there. I failed my first one, so that's I think it threw me off a little what bit. Does the sign look like? It's a triangle. And what colors? We f- did this the other day. It's red <laughs> and orange. Oh my Yellow. God, no. Pink. Oh my God, no. All right, stop quizzing me. I'm getting anxious. No more. What's your big three? My big three. I am a Libra. Mm-hmm. And I am a Libra rising and I'm a Taurus moon. But caveat is I am the first day of Libra, so I'm a Virgo cusp. Oh. And my rising is also cusping with Virgo. So I'm very much Virgo Libra split. You definitely give me Libra though, just because you're Thank so you. like talkative and like bubbly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very, very Libra. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm a very Virgo Libra though. I feel like I used to avoid the Virgo parts of myself because I was like, mm-hmm. I don't like Virgos. Yeah. Um, because they're so opinionated and everything has to be their way. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm like, okay, like that's why I'm able to get done the way I do. And yeah. that's like that is my producer brain and the director brain is Work like ethic, the Virgo. All that diff- yeah. Yeah. And like making people feel comfortable yeah. on a set and like yeah. yeah. No, but I definitely get the Libra. I love it because yeah. all my best friends have been Libras. But I think because as a Pisces, I'm so like, I don't know. You guys are just like you're energized and yeah, you're talkative yeah, 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 yeah. and like push people out of their comfort zones and like just all that different so, yes all, literally all my best friends are pisces i know and that, that's the weirdest thing too so last day i'm sitting in the room with like a bunch of different people on set and we all realize that we're pisces and then we're like what's your birthday what's your birthday and she literally had from like the third to, to like the 20th that like march in, like, like every like, day 
I collect Pisces, I'm telling you. I feel so grounded and it's so funny, like being an artist and being in the industry, I feel like it's most people are a little bit, most artists are a little bit floaty yeah. and like dreamy and mm -hmm. space. And I'm like, I wish I was that because I feel like it'd be easier to tap into some, I don't know, it'd be easier to write. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I feel so grounded sometimes. And I'm like, I need that space cadet dreamy so energy around me. Dreamy, aloof. Yes, I want to be drowning in Pisces. God, we're just like dreamers. <laughs> we're just always up in uh -huh, our heads. Uh huh. Always up in our heads. Yes. But I thought that was so funny that just there were so many Pisces so many there Pisces. and you literally collect Pisces. I collect them. We love it. Yeah. Pisces love I you. Love we love it. We love it. Um, Wait, what's your, did we ever talk about Venus signs? I So I downloaded CoStar. Oh, you did? So I have it on here. I want to see it. But yeah, what I'll your show Venus it to you is. after. But yeah, I, found, I thought I was um, star sign Pisces and the other Aquarius, but I'm oh, Pisces, yeah, Pisces, Aquarius. So yeah. it even makes more sense for my emotions. Yes. Too many. Yeah, you don't seem like double Aquarius to me. No, You're not I never thought that aloof. Yeah, no, I didn't think yeah. that either. But yeah, I'm emotional as f yeah, and now it makes sense because it's all water up in there. It's all pretty much all water. What's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush. Hmm. Well, right now it's Sydney Sweeney. After watching that movie, anyone but you. I haven't watched it yet. Is it good? No. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's a it's like you a said bad rom com. She just looks hot. In she it. looks so hot. I mean, yeah. it were yeah. She looks so hot in that movie. Um, Kristen Stewart was a first really? one That's for sure. Mine. Oh my god, her like even in Twilight, I was like they, like. Oop. I was like, this is gay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So obvious. And so I obviously remember, gay. I cried when she came. It was SNL. And I don't know if that's the first time she said it, but she like did her opening thing. And she's, yeah, like, she's like, I'm so I'm gay, gay, dude. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, what? Yes. I was at home. I was like, yes. I literally in high school used to sit down my friends and make them watch. There was It's still online. I'll show it to you. There's a YouTube video and it's called Kristen Stewart's Gayest Moments. And this is way before she came out, but it was like her on the press tour with Dakota Fanning after the Runaways, and her like mm -hmm. basically flirting with Dakota the entire time, and like just all like the gay shit that she said on this press, like. Yeah. And um, yeah, I used to like force my friends to watch it. And I was like, guys, you don't understand. She's not dating Robert Pattinson. She's gay. And like, they're like, no, gay. shut up. She's. And, yeah. But she was. But she so, was. But she so was gay. Yeah, I saw her at an event. But I, I always thought she was my height, but she's so, she's so much tinier. She's, she's tiny. And just yeah. as like in person, like super like fidgety and just so Kristen yeah. Stewart. And I'm yes. like, it's not yes. an act. She is literally. She, that's her. She plays herself. That's her. In all of her things. Uh-huh. But she's yeah. so hot. She's so, <sighs> so hot. hot. But I think the best thing though, is that you see these people blow up and then mm -hmm. they come out. But now you have so many people like you and, and artists and actors that they're already out and they're already open and they're playing these roles and People have so many role models now. Oh my God, they're so, it's so awesome. I feel like that is, you know, there are obviously a lot of like downsides to TikTok and social media and the internet, yeah. but all the upsides are like the amount of representation that we have because yeah. there's no, there's no middleman anymore. It's like yeah. now like young queer people get to see like another young queer person in Kansas living their life, 14 mm -hmm. years old yeah. out at school. Like yeah. there's just so, like the representation is like overflowing yeah. now. It's so awesome. And also I feel like for a long time it used to be like, there was only one gay out gay artist and yeah. it's like if that was the one person you had now it's like there are queer artists in every genre yeah. and you don't have to yeah it doesn't have to be like the Ooh, one i have an answer to your question so you have yes. completely different style music but like Kaylani, love her. Oh yeah, that would yeah, be insane. Yeah. Oh, but like the mixture Kehlani. of both of your like vibes would yeah. just be like no one would think like expect it. Yeah, but that would be oh, especially best. if you guys were like each other's love interest. I would die. Oh my god! I saw her. Well, I'm gonna manifest that at LA you. Pride. She's the best performer ever. Her choreography, like I've never she's seen her unbelievable and so sexy. Just like, woo. I already told you. I'm yeah. with her and Raya. Yeah. You did, did you? I did too. Yeah. <laughs> both of Raya. us match. Both of us match with Kaylani and Raya. Yeah. Hey girl, <laughs> single. Yeah. Does she follow you on TikTok? She follows me. No, she doesn't follow me. All right, so I'm I think a little she, ahead. And she used to follow me on Instagram. I think she unfollowed me. That's so sad. Kaylani, why Kaylani, would you do that? Yeah, so but sad. yeah, are you single? <laughs> but yeah, no, that would be an insane collab. That so we're going to so manifest that for you. Please invite me to set. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. Okay, a collab and then a love triangle video. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that would be crazy. But yeah, so when you hit me up the video and I made a TikTok, it was yeah. like three artists because I was like, oh, I'm going to be in like a queer music video as a love interest. Like, I'm such a fan of this girl. And it was you, Kaylani, and I think it was Fletcher with yeah. the other one. Yeah. And I was just like, everyone just had no clue and it went viral. And then we were I like, love it. it's so it's me. 
<laughs> but no, I mean, in general, once again, I was just so, so grateful to be a part of this music video. I actually haven't even seen it yet. We're filming this a little bit before, so we're about to watch it right after, which will make a little reaction video to that too. But if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. If you haven't seen Zolita's other music videos, go watch it because you will literally become obsessed. And once again, just bringing that creativity, that visibility to the world. And once again, making all of our little gay hearts and gay dreams come true Aww. has just been, I think you're doing insane oh, in your career. You. And I think you're going to blow up more and more. Thank and you. what's what's coming up for you <laughs> besides the video? What's coming up? Yeah. Um, so the video, the series, yes. um, all the social content. Yes. And then a lot of songs coming out, the album coming out, tour. Um, there's going to be a, like a party situation that I'm throwing can i come duh oh my god <laughs> um more info on that soon yeah there's just so much good stuff right now i'm so excited you're yeah. gonna have to do like one of the it could be me or anyone else but you should do like the justin bieber thing where like what's this lena gomez that he pulled up on stage and like sang the song to her one less lonely girl yeah yeah yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. we could do that yeah that we, be, yes 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 <laughs> to yes. bloodstream oh we have to we have to that would be fucking yeah. insane but like i said guys go check out zolita's music video she has so many insane things coming out Go watch Bloodstream. Go share it. Go do all of the things. And thank you so, so, so much for coming go on. Go watch how amazing she is in the video. <laughs> oh, she's so good. I tried to cry in one of the scenes. I just watered up, but it didn't. It was, no, it read perfectly. Okay. okay. It read perfectly. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And so how do we end this amazing podcast? Thank you for having coffee with Kira. Yay.